Hi, I'm Paul Hager, Vice President of Governmental Affairs for the Minnesota Realtors. Thanks for watching this week's legislative update. Well, last week was uh, spent, Ryan and I, uh, taking a lot of time to get all the authors and co-authors uh, for our legislative agenda items. That's a very time-consuming process. Um, legislators are very busy, so often we have to uh, try to track them down in committee hearings or uh, send in notes when they're on the floor uh, debating bills in session and, and wait for them to be able to, have to, to come out when they have an opportunity so we can talk to them about the bills and see if they want to uh, support the legislation, sign on as co-authors. So uh, a lot of that work was done last week. So, so this week we're going to see a lot of most of our bills, actually all of our bills will be introduced, uh, a couple on Monday and then um, the others later in the week, no later than Thursday. So that's exciting. Um, we also have a hearing on the Manufactured Homes uh, Title Issues Bill that we've been working on for uh, well over a year now with other stakeholders. That hearing is going to take place in the House uh, Transportation Committee on Monday afternoon, so we're looking forward to that. And there will be a lot of hearings on our issues moving forward, so uh, stay tuned for updates. And also, we're really excited, uh, the attendance for Housing Day is well over 550, and, and that's great. Uh, we look forward to seeing um, so many of you at the River Center in St. Paul. I think you're going to have a great time uh, seeing the Capitol Complex, the new Senate building, the renovated Capitol, which is absolutely beautiful, and of course having conversations with your legislators about uh, the market in your area, the issues that we're working on. Um, it's going to be an exciting day. Um, if you're interested in signing up and haven't done so yet, um, check out housingdaymn.org. And Housing Day is February 23rd at the St. Paul River Center. Thanks for watching this week's legislative update.